The following is a production of Learfield Sports. It was a game that started poorly and quite simply got progressively worse for the Wisconsin Badgers as they ran into a buzzsaw named Ohio State on Saturday night as the Buckeyes convincingly win the Big Ten championship game 59 to nothing. We'll hear from head coach Gary Anderson and some of the players. Our senior salute this week is on one true tough guy, Kyle Costigan, part of that Badgers offensive line. It's all coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Third down and six, back to throw Jones, looking, pressured, and sacked. Thought he was going to break free, but Derek Landish was not going to let go. Well, it'll be a 29-yard field goal. Hit a short one in the first half, and this gets blocked, and he misfires. I couldn't tell who specifically got it, but the Badgers blocked the kick, and Wisconsin will be on offense inside its 20-yard line. First of all, I'm proud of this team. Uh, they fought like crazy. We get an opportunity to play together one more time. Um, Ohio State, tremendous football team. They showed that tonight. Uh, you know, all the credit in the world goes to them for the way they played, the way they competed. Uh, they deserve to win the football game, and uh, we're going to we'll bounce back, take care of our business, and I'll do a lot better job as a head football coach. So, get no spots, obviously. <coughs> I failed the kids tonight, so I'll come back, fight, and away we go. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas. By Toyota. And by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know I donated a kidney, and together, we saved a life. UW Health. Remarkable. When you have the fastest internet speeds, you can find anything almost instantly. Which is a powerful thing. Because sometimes it's not so much what you're looking for, but how fast you can find it that makes all the difference. Get the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum. Where will it take you? Wisconsin cheese, making good food great. The reason why I chose Mercedes is because I was looking for a different kind of a vehicle. I was very surprised how affordable that a Mercedes was. What I had for the price with leasing my Toyota, I had an opportunity to be within $75 difference. So I was very impressed with it. That's why I purchased a Mercedes. Drive the 2015 Mercedes-Benz C300 4Matic Sports Sedan starting at 41325.
The reason why I chose Mercedes is because I was looking for a different kind of a vehicle. I was very surprised how affordable that a Mercedes was. What I had for the price with leasing my Toyota, I had an opportunity to be within $75 difference. So I was very impressed with it. That's why I purchased a Mercedes. Drive the 2015 Mercedes-Benz C300 4Matic Sports Sedan starting at 41325. Well, we're here in Indianapolis. We found some Badger fans and certainly having a good time ready for the big game. But first of all, it's Fan Fest. You guys certainly enjoying this? Yes, actually, it's been a lot of fun. There's some cool things going on. Saw some really cool Badger memorabilia here, so it's been fun. Awesome, and I know that you were standing by the big trophy. Yeah, it's got our picture with the championship trophy right there. Hope you, to uh, see it in some Badger hands later say, tonight. You didn't touch it because it, you know it's like the Stanley Cup. If you touch it, that's bad luck. No, didn't touch it. Didn't touch it. No. So that almost guarantees a Badger victory. I right? hope so. I hope so. So tell me how it is exciting it is to be back in Indy for the third time in four years for the Badgers. I mean, it's kind of like Madison South, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Uh, a lot of Badger fans around here. We were at the hotel with the Badger band earlier. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. And what do you think? I mean, the, the Badgers and then Melvin Gordon, and it's going to be a great game. But uh, this year, even up to this point, has been great. It's been an amazing year. It really has been. But uh, I'm thinking the victory today, that uh, they're really peaking at the right time. So we're very hopeful. Go Bucky. Let me see those W's again, would you? Yeah. Go Badgers. Oh. <laughs> so you guys came for the Big Ten Championship. How excited are you to, to be here to see Bucky take on Ohio State? Super excited. Super excited so to see excited. them win. Yeah. Yeah. Fan Fest is fun as well. You ran yeah. the, the 40 and you ran it well. Uh, how much fun is this before the game? Oh, it's really cool. Um, it gets you, you know, in the mindset. And I think the best part about coming down to Indy is just the atmosphere, uh, getting to hang out with all the fans, uh, you know, getting to do fun things like this. What was your time? Did you see your time? I think it was like a 4-9, somewhere around there. Should we talk to Coach Anderson? Maybe you got some playing time left? <laughs> I wish. Uh, I mean, if Melvin goes out, God forbid, uh, I can definitely step in. You're so. the man. I'll get your name in a minute. But okay. uh, t tell me about being down here in Indianapolis. It's the third time the Badgers have been down here in four years. It's kind of like the second home, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, this is my third time coming here. So, you know, I love, uh, so I'm a little out of breath. But I love, I love the atmosphere. Um, you know, I love our track record here. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be our, our third time in a row. Some people call it Indianapolis. I like to think of it as Madison South. Yes, exactly. I totally agree. Well, we found some Badger fans here at Fan Fest, the Big Ten Championship. The Badgers are here again. How excited are you to see the Badgers win today? Uh, excited. Super excited or just excited? Super excited. There you go. Now, I see you already have a win under your belt. I, I saw you do the, uh, the obstacle course. Tell me how you did. Good. Did you beat your dad? Yeah. You go. Tell me what uh, what you think about uh, running on Fan Fest. Did you did you have fun? Yes. <laughs> Was it exciting or super exciting? Super exciting. <laughs> there you go. Woo! Go Badgers! Go Badgers! So tell me how much fun this Fan Fest is before the game and having some fun playing bags. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, a lot of different activities that are really great to enjoy the get pumped up for the game. With the Badgers at the Big Ten Championship in Indianapolis, I'm Mike Jocks for the Badger Sports Report. Think about it. Brought to you by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Uh, it'll probably be basketball, you know, just I love the, the sport of basketball and, you know, people probably don't know that, you know, I am 5'7", but I've been dunking since I was ninth, in the ninth grade and, you know, it's, it's no problem. Definitely will be basketball. I used to dribble a little basketball when I was younger, but not anymore. It's all about the pigskin. Probably basketball. Um, you know, I got bunnies. I can pretty much dunk over everybody. I dunked over Duye, uh in a practice game. No, I'm kidding. Uh, 
I'd probably be a boxer if I didn't play football. Uh, I boxed uh, growing up. I, you know, I just stopped as soon as I got to Wisconsin. Oh, definitely soccer. I just I've been playing it all my life and just growing up playing it. It's kind of how I started kicking. So definitely was my first love before football. Uh, I play hockey. I've always uh, wanted to learn how to skate, uh, and I think skating is very cool. I like the physicality aspect of it. So. If I could do it again, I want to go back, learn how to skate, and play hockey. Um, I would definitely have to play hockey. I uh, grew up playing hockey since uh, age of seven, so really love the game of hockey. Grew up in Wisconsin. Um, was from a kind of a hockey town, so got to go with hockey. Love it, man. To be honest with you, I have no idea. Like, this was, <laughs> football was pretty much it. Like, I, I wasn't really good at basketball. I'm not tall at all, so if it wasn't for football, uh, probably be back home or playing video games or something. I, I to be honest with you, I have no idea. <laughs>you know, I'm a mama's boy, so why not help my mom out? I don't know. I probably wouldn't buy anything, take care of some family debt. I'd probably invest half, donate half, and then get more money from the investment and donate that. So I don't, you know, I don't know. Uh, probably my mom, my house. Uh, you know, uh, that's one of my goals. You know, I want to, my mom, she's been there for me. She's been very supportive, and uh, I want to see her happy, but... If I had that already, I'd probably buy a really, really nice car. Um, I have a couple dream cars that I would love to, to be riding down the beach and uh, down in Florida, but it'd probably be a nice car. First, I would buy my parents a big old house down by the coast, and I'm just like, yeah, mama got you that, dad. But then I would have to pocket a lot of, you know, a lot of that because I got to spend some money on myself. I would first buy a Ferrari, um, then a Lamborghini. Um, a whole bunch of stuff, just know that, just know that. First thing I buy is probably buy my mom a 2014 Kia Optima. You know, she always says it, you know, she always, every time that commercial come on, she always say I want that, so, and I told her, I said, mom, I'm gonna get you that car one day, you know, and if I had a million dollars, that'd probably be the first thing, but first specific car, 2014, a white one, a white Kia Optima. <laughs> a Kia Optima? Yeah, Oh my God, if you don't just buy the dealership, I'm guessing. <laughs> It's funny how seeing a clearer picture can lead you to see the bigger one. Get the most HD channels and the fastest internet on the most advanced fiber network. Charter Spectrum, where will it take you? Some call it a miracle. Others call it science. But for those who've needed a kidney transplant like Kelly Krager, they simply call it a new lease on life. For nearly five decades, UW Health and the University of Wisconsin have been national leaders in the field of kidney transplant, providing a new life for recipients and assuring a normal life for living donors. Miracle? Science? Maybe it's a little bit of both. UW Health. Remarkable. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. Ah, the bold new Camry. You can get a great deal during Toyotathon. I love the new look. And it's a blast to drive. 
Oh, so you've driven it. <laughs> yeah, taking it for a spin. Toyota Thon is on. Get low 1.9% APR financing on the bold new 2015 Camry. Offer ends January 5th. Plus, every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, Toyota's no cost maintenance plan. You want to borrow my driving gloves? Toyota, let's go places. Uh, I mean, obviously, my first year starting with the Rose Bowl, that's huge, and then three Big Ten championships, and I don't know, I've been lucky just to be along for the ride. Now we got Melvin and all the running backs and playing with Monty and James White and all those guys, so I've just been really lucky to have those guys making us look good, and I'm just happy that, uh, that it all worked out. The stars aligned, I guess, for me, and it all worked out well. It's not you guys making them look good? I mean, I, I mean it's a give and take. I mean, we both, they make us look good, and I guess hopefully we kind of make them look good at times, and obviously, it works both ways, and I'm just happy I'm in the situation I'm in. I, mean, I don't know, the whole time you're here, you kind of don't think it's going to stop. It's, you always feel like you got more time, and then now it's, I don't know, it goes faster than you think, and it's kind of a bittersweet feeling, I guess. What's some of the wisdom that you are trying to impart to some of the younger guys behind you? Oh, I don't know. Me and Robert roommates were great friends, and uh, I think he's more a vocal leader, so he'll tell guys what to do, and I'm kind of the more silent, lead by example kind of guy, and I just think we both kind of just show up every day and lunch pail crew and try to work hard and all that stuff so we kind of both have our little nuances I guess that we bring to the table for young guys that they can take and learn from but I mean Rob's more vocal I'm more keep my nose down and grind it grind away type deal so that's that's how we operate I guess. You battled some injuries and some off the field stuff this year how has it been just like going through the personal grind but you have your teammates with you? I mean that's huge obviously is and they understand you're dealing with a lot of all the things that are going on in my life and uh, it's just nice to have some brothers and stuff around you. I mean, they're obviously not my blood brothers or anything, but I consider them as the same and they're all there for me and it's, it's really nice. I don't think I'd be able to do it without them, so it's a great feeling to have that support around me. How important is it to you to be able to say that you're a Badger? I mean, obviously, first and foremost, is a great education and I'm from Wisconsin, so my whole life is, this has been like the dream to come here and, and get to play and I'm just so happy I'm here. and. Just great university, great staff, great people, Midwest, the hospitality, everyone, how kind everyone is, and it's just, I mean, it's huge. Obviously, ever since I was a little kid and, and watching Badger football games, it's always been my goal to, to come here, and it just means so much to me, and I mean, something I can hang my hat on, and, and just the whole time I was here, and with all the injuries and stuff, and, and I persevered in, in a lot of situations that I'm not sure if other people would, and I'm just happy that I'll be able to look back and know that I made it through everything, and just hang my hat on that, and call it a good day, I guess. Fans use signs to identify themselves. The chop, the fork, the O, oh, the gum horns. But there's one sign everyone wants to be identified with. Number one, fans show their loyalty in all kinds of ways. Ours just buy another Hyundai. Number one in customer loyalty five years in a row. Show your loyalty using the hashtag thisisloyalty. When you have the fastest internet speeds, you can find anything almost instantly, which is a powerful thing. Because sometimes it's not so much what you're looking for, but how fast you can find it that makes all the difference. Get the most advanced fiber network, Charter Spectrum. Where will it take you? Most people don't know that UW Health and the University of Wisconsin are national leaders in the field of kidney transplant. They provide new life for those who will likely die without a transplant. And they assure normal life for those who donate. I would know. I donated a kidney, and together, we saved a life. UW Health. Remarkable.
Wisconsin cheese, making good food great. The Badger Sports Report with Gary Anderson is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. By Hyundai. By Adidas. By Toyota. And by UW Health, a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Time now for this week's edition of the Great Dane Great Question of the Week, and it comes from Tyler in Madison, who directs his question to some of the players wanting to know how old were they when they first started playing this game? I was probably like 13 years old. Um, I was playing like rec league, rec league football for the Vikings and you know we had an undefeated season and you know I was the quarterback actually you know I was a short one but I was the quarterback and we was undefeated and you know that that right there made me start falling in love with the game where I knew like I could be something and you know it went from there that's where you know my winning streak kind of started and stuff like that all the way until I got to college where I lost my first game since I was 13 so I have to say since I was 13 playing for the Vikings. Um, I mean, I, I'd say all the way back to when I was three or four years old. Um, my dad was a football player here also. He's a tight end, which, which I also get to play. But, um, you know, always grew up around football. I'm always a huge uh, Badger fan, so I've been playing football as long as I can remember. Uh, actually, started back when I was five years old. You know, when I wanted to join you know, the midget footballs back then, how they called it, or Pee Wee. Um, you know, I just kind of fell in love with the game. You know, I like, you know, physical contact when as far as you know, I'm a rough type of player, you know, I'm known as a power back, so, and I'm always the younger brother, so I was kind of picked on, so it kind of made me stronger in the long run. Um, you know, from then on, I just kind of picked up more attributes, and it just kind of, you know, became a second nature to me. I was definitely pretty little. I mean, I was a, a Badger football player for Halloween one year. Um, you know, with, with my dad playing here, that was a huge reason. He was a motivation, so that's definitely the reason. When I was in third grade, I played my first year of tackle football and I actually got bumped up. I was like a triple striper and I got bumped up to the eighth grade team. Um, so I was a third grader playing with eighth graders and uh, I think I just realized that I was a pretty big kid and football was probably a good sport uh, for me. So that's, that's what I knew. We thank Tyler for his question. The Great Dane has four locations in Madison on the east side of town, downtown, Fitchburg, as well as Hilldale. And of course, there's a Great Dane up in Wausau as well. That'll do it for at least the next couple of weeks talking about Badger football. We invite you to join us next week as we turn our attention to Wisconsin basketball as Bo Ryan's Badgers continue to work their way through a tough non-conference portion of the schedule. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you next week. The reason why I chose Mercedes is because I was looking for a different kind of a vehicle. I was very surprised how affordable that a Mercedes was. What I had for the price with leasing my Toyota, I had an opportunity to be within $75 difference. So I was very impressed with it. That's why I purchased a Mercedes. Drive the 2015 Mercedes-Benz C300 Formatic Sports Sedan starting at 41325. The Learfield Sports Directors Cup is the officially sanctioned annual award recognizing all around excellence in men's and women's collegiate competition. NACTA and USA Today co-founded this esteemed honor in 1993, still widely recognized as the crowning achievement in college athletics. It's 2050. I'm one of nine billion people on the planet. Like most, I live in the city. Our air and water are clean, and there's plenty of fresh food for everyone. My parents are getting old, but staying healthy. Good thing, because my kids will probably live to be 100. Can you imagine? The University of Wisconsin-Madison, preparing minds to meet the challenges of the future before they become the challenges of today. Keep on, Wisconsin. Keep on.